Catalytic converter thefts are skyrocketing in Philadelphia. City officials estimate the number of stolen catalytic converters more than tripled from 2020 to 2021, and that trend has not stopped. Kelly, it's also likely going to cost you more money and more time now to get it fixed. Yeah, Don, it sure will. Local auto repair shops tell me we are talking at least one month for certain car brands. If you have a Mitsubishi, it could be even longer. And again, they're saying it will cost more than it did only one year ago. And I've learned to get other ways to get around. <laughs> Mark Murphy is doing a lot of this to get around lately. In only a five-hour window on this South Philadelphia block, he says someone cut the catalytic converter off his brand new 2022 Mitsubishi. That was in late February. I thought it would be easy, yeah. More than a month later, his car is still at the dealership waiting on the parts to come in. And then I called maybe two weeks ago and they said late spring, early summer. It's very frustrating. Catalytic converter thefts are still up in Philadelphia, according to police. After more than 3,400 in 2021, 2022 could be off to a worse start with more than 1,300. Police say the crimes are not unique to the city. Lower Moreland Township just released pictures of this highly organized group accused of hitting several vehicles near County Line and Heaton Roads. A spike in thefts, throw in supply chain and worker shortage issues, and you get... The parts are anywhere between three days to one month, three months uh, wait time for them to come in. 21 years of owning Schaefer's Auto on Columbus Boulevard in South Philadelphia. Mike Schaefer says he's never seen anything like it. Six to 13 cut catalytic converters a week, mostly Mitsubishi's, Hondas and Toyota Priuses. This SUV would have cost roughly 13 to 1400 to fix last year, but now at least 2300 and at least a month wait. He says costs for all parts are up. They used to be three, four hundred dollars. Now they're thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. And that just started happening in the last few weeks like that, that I noticed. You can't drive it. Yeah, it's undrivable with that. So they're either down to a rental or, you know, get rid of it and then uh, get a new car. Now Schaefer's Auto tells me they have to bring all their cars in at night to avoid the thefts that they've been hit before. The owner tells me his truck was hit when it was getting repaired at a shop in Bristol. So it's happening to everyone. To avoid it, you can get something called a cat strap involved that makes it very difficult to cut the piece off. But Jason, that too will cost you. It starts at 400 bucks. All right, Kelly, wow. rolling old city. Thank you very much, Kelly.